You think it's easy to run this country? I enjoy the physical inspiration from Mr. Yassin, Yassin Bolt. I enjoy physical inspiration when he goes to run. He's anointed to win. And I have a message coming up, anointed to win. And if you notice something about all these runners, and male and female runners, some of you think they just go out on the track and run. They got mothers fasting and praying back home here. They got grandmothers and sisters and brothers fasting and praying for them. And when the prince saints begin to pray, and the Lord will have his way, the glory of the Lord will come down. Somebody declare, I'm anointed to win. I'm anointed to overcome. I'm anointed to pray. I'm anointed to preach. I'm anointed to... The born in a bad mind, shoved the press of bad mind, went into the pulpit full of bad mind. And when they see you succeeding, and people gravitating to you, and people receiving deliverance and help, they covet you. I want to blackmail you because of the anointing of God in your life and you spend time with God. You're called, anointed and appointed. They have bad mind and they will not celebrate you and they will not speak peaceably to you. Saul, you got some Saul who have lost their anointing, who have lost their touch. And God don't talk to them no more. And the moment God anointed David, the Spirit of the Lord, stand with me in the house please, came upon him. Did you see that? When you're anointed, there's a descent of the Spirit upon you. And the Bible said from that day, David became a mighty man of God. And he went forward. Touch your neighbor and say, if you ever receive the anointing, the only way is forward. You're not talking to me, you're talking to yourself. The Bible said, an evil spirit of the Lord trouble Saul. Anytime you see people cannot celebrate the anointed man of God, you have an evil spirit. And you cannot celebrate another ministry and celebrate another denomination and celebrate another fellowship. You have an evil spirit. Throw up your hands. I want you to come back next week. I'm going to pick up back right here. When David received the anointing, all hell broke loose. But the anointing is so powerful, it will equip you and empower you for any crisis. Somebody throw up your hands and tell the enemy that I'm about ready for any crisis. Because of the anointing, I shall destroy you, I will destroy you, I must destroy you. Somebody put your hands together and stamp your feet and declare the enemy is destroyed. Thank you, Father. I speak the anointing over you today. I speak the anointing in radio land. I speak the anointing in prison cells, in hospital rooms, in vehicles, in churches, in homes. I speak the anointing over you listening, watching at the internet. Listen at your radio cabinet. I ask God to come to you, save you, deliver you, bring you out, and bring you into the anointing. I release the anointing of the prophetic word in your life this day and I command miracles to start to happen in your life breaking every yoke and destroying every burden in Jesus Christ's name now do you have time to celebrate the Lord? Amen. do you have time to praise him?
Hörnchen. Schaff ihr Hörnchen. Schaff ihr Hörnchen. Schaff ihr Hörnchen. Baby, my time is gone. On today's broadcast. Those of you watching, listen to my radio, please write me this week. Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town. That's Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town. I need to hear from you. And when you write, dear friend, rush a seat fate. Rush a seat for your miracle. Rush a fate offering to help me carry these broadcasts. And to my friends overseas around the world, send an offering here. Post Office Box 261, Spanish Town, Jamaica, to help me carry these broadcasts. Until next week at the same time, for the facilities of these fine stations and release the revival time, your direction, your radio pastor, Gigi Kum, along with my technical operators, and the revival time family remind, reminding you that because of the anointed, the yoke in your life shall be destroyed. Six, and we're going to read.